going on YouTube Twitchy Tango here. We have covered a bunch of uh, topics over the last several videos from the difficulty to the upgrading system to possible DLC and discussing the extra game mode and how they can improve. And today we're talking about the gameplay of Resident Evil 4 and what I hope to see with Remake. Uh, there's not much to say. Uh, what we're going to cover, there's a few things I, that I'm optimistic for and what I want to discuss in today's video. Uh, but honestly, before we dive in, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts. Uh, definitely like the video because it helps push me through the algorithm or the algorithm. And But without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, honestly, there isn't much to say about the core gameplay of Resident Evil 4. I still think to this day it's one of the best examples of how to do gameplay. You kill enemies, you get loot, uh, whether it's ammo, money, or healing items. And I feel like that's like the one thing perfect about it. And the adaptive difficulty that essentially started Resident Evil 4 is still perfect to this day. We talked about that in the difficulty, but... You know, there's nothing I really want to change about Resident Evil 4's uh, core gameplay. I think the main thing I want, I'm glad they're getting doing away with, it, is the, the controls and how they play. I still have a few friends to this day that, because of how the game controls and feels, that they just don't want to play Resident Evil 4. And I know a lot of people are thinking that's sacrilege, but that's just how some people feel about tank controls and prefer a modern take on the game, which... I'm not going to have any disrespect to anyone who doesn't care for tank controls. It's just how people feel about it. I think the whole gameplay, gameplay loop is still perfect to this day. And it's still one of my most endurable things about Resident Evil 4. But I don't feel like... Uh, I, I absolutely understand where people come from when they don't want to have to play a game that has tank controls. And I'm not going to disrespect anyone who enjoy who wants to play with modern controls and i don't think anybody should either so i'm not gonna hold anyone to it you know you know i think at its core resident Evil 4 is a stellar exceptional game uh that many people don't want to give the chance because of the controls and how it, it runs so it's very good that we're gonna have sort of the modern setting that the remakes of resident Evil 2 remake and resident Evil 3 remake ha have so being able to aim uh, uh, while walking and the like thereof and have fluid movements and the like. So it's really good that we're going to have that for the remake. Uh, the next topic we're going to talk about is something that I'm excited to see uh, added to the game core gameplay of Resident Evil 4, which is, of course, stealth, baby. Okay, so... Stealth is something that Resident Evil games have sort of toyed with for a while. I can only think of like one or two games, but at least this one off the top of my head, that uh, deals with stealth in a way, but it's not been really part of its core gameplay. The only one I think I can, you know, think at the top of my head right now is like Resident Evil 5 DLC, uh, where you play as Chris and Jill trying to find Oswald Spencer and you're trying to hide from people because you don't have the means to defend yourself. Uh, I'm sure there are several, but that's the only one that's like fresh on my mind right now. Uh, but stealth in itself is like something I feel like has been missing from Resident Evil, like at, to make it part of its core gameplay. And it almost seemed like with uh, this gameplay footage right here of Leon crouching, you know, moving around like he is, that stealth is going to play a big part. And I think that is pretty awesome. Uh, it's one thing I wanted from Resident Evil is that I feel like stealth needed to be impl implemented for quite some time. I think if it's done properly, it could be really amazing. You know, this, you, adding stealth, like allowing e Leon to take out people silently, be able to leave areas without even having to kill a single enemy, allowing you to conserve ammo and like thereof for like major points like bosses. So it'd be interesting to really see uh, stealth implemented in a way that uh, works perfectly. And again, I'm all for that stealth getting implemented in a way that feels good, feels natural. You know, being able to take out an enemy before uh, the Ganado alerts uh, its fellow uh, comrades. Being able to conserve ammo in a way where you can 
go through an area possibly just go through an area and clear other enemies out pretty quickly and uh take them out by you know take them out be able to amp up your supplies and the like thereof and i think that would be awesome if stealth is introduced in a way that you know feels natural and doesn't feel forced and I think a lot of people agree that if done right, it could really make this remake something truly exceptional. And again, I'm all for adding more gameplay mechanics to a remake, especially something like stealth. I'm, I'm a sucker for stealth games. Assassin's Creed is probably the big example of what I love about going through an area and taking out enemies without anyone noticing you. So 100% for the idea of implementing stealth at all, you know, in a way that... You know, you go to one of the areas, you see Ganados just looking for you, you take them out one by one, and all along the way, as you're taking them out, you get things like ammo, you get things like herbs, you get things like healing items as you take them out, you know, adding more to your stock and your supplies. So definitely in a lot of ways, I feel like stealth, if implemented and done right, could be just amazing for this game and uh, i think we can all agree that's not necessarily a bad thing uh the next thing we're going to really talk about is obviously you know if you're upgrading leon's movement you got to talk about the enemies and how they react to that said movement and that is of course the ganados now if you're going to upgrade leon's movement you obviously have to upgrade the ganados because the ganados themselves are not going to be much of a threat if you're able to run and shoot and like they're up and they're just still their same sluggish movement. I don't think they'd be much of a threat if they stayed the way they are. So a big thing would be improving their arsenal, improving their movement, how they react to Leon sort of thing. You know, a lot of the, that goes into adaptive, adaptive difficulty, which is something that's started the Resident Evil 4. So it makes sense that it would stay the same or if not be improved upon more with remake four uh sometimes if you're aiming your gun at a ganado they will duck but it's a slow duck so you could still get a shot off the ganados have to be far improved in their movements which obviously they will be uh to react to leon's new movements and skill sets so i think a big thing would be uh really improving how they act their arsenal and the like thereof a big thing like if you're implementing stealth say you clear one area and you go into the next area and they're on high alert looking for you and that'd be a great way to really up the stakes with the ganados uh, allowing them more free movement as well you know this is a new remake so obviously they're going to be able to improve on how the ganados react to you <clears throat> i think of course, with the introduction of stealth, you could make that uh, enemy volume larger, which I've, you know, I've already discussed, meaning, uh, you know, like I said, Ganados see you, they can alert more Ganados to your location, and the only way of dealing with them is to either use your ammo or dispose of them, um, which could be a scare, scarce enough as it is, or high using the stealth mechanics that Leon has at his disposal, and stay hidden long enough for the enemies to lose interest and leave the area. Uh, a way to improve, you know, both the stealth mechanics as well as the Ganados. Like, if you say you there's a place you can hide and they stop looking for you, they lose interest. Well, now you can go figure out where to go and a way to uh, hide. And then once they've lost interest and go back to their set areas, you can start taking them out one by one. But, yeah, the Ganados absolutely need to be more impressive they need to be able to move fa move faster might possibly even hit harder uh have a wider range of weapons that you know makes sense for the modern remake you know these are ganados they're humanoids in nature they're not zombies so i feel like they need to react as such but i honestly be interested to hear what you guys think on that and probably the biggest thing that needs to be improved is actually so let's discuss uh, good old Ashley Graham. I think if you're going to improve a lot of stuff about the game, I think one of the biggest things that needs an improvement that's the heart and soul of the game, and it's Ashley Graham. You know, I think a lot of people can agree. Escorting Ashley isn't fun in her segment. Her own very first segment is boring and tedious, 
But what if the remake obviously improves Ashley in a big way? Which I feel like that's what they're going for. Uh, from what we've seen in the trailer, it really does seem that Ashley is getting an upgrade. And we'll, we will be playing her more. Um, playing more of her than just the one segment. Which I think is a great idea. I think Ashley needs to have more going on for her in the remake. And I think Capcom does agree. I think Ashley won't stay the helpless girl we find by the end of the game. I think she will gain confidence farther we, as we go into the story and definitely pick up a few things from Leon in the process. Whether it's things like being able to combat enemies, get away easier, or using her gun for a brief amount of time. And, I, uh, you know, like I talked about in the upgrade section, being able to find treasure or ammo and hers for Leon a whole lot better would definitely be in, an improvement instead of her being helpless throughout the in, entire game making it the same awful escort mission we've done countless times over i'm not wanting something like um of course i'm not wanting something like elizabeth from bioshock Infinite, where she's just so bad at being able to do all these crazy things i just want ashley to not be the same old escort mission uh that it wasn't original and i think that capcom knows this escort missions have either have improved since then but even for her time, her AI and all that was still mildly impressive. But I think a lot of people can agree, agree that uh, we just do not need that, you know. I don't think uh, having Ashley helpless throughout the entirety of the game is a good thing. And I feel like 100% we do not need her to stay helpless. I think her gaining her confidence... Uh, through one way or another, uh, tor getting closer towards the end of the game would be a great idea as she works with Leon and works around Leon. And I think a lot of people can agree with that. Again, I, I'm not one of those people that hates Ashley because I'm able to really work around uh, playing with, uh, with her and uh, saving her. You know, I've had instances where, you know, I've lost her and she's died, but. You know, I'm not one of those people that feels like she's detrimental to the game. So I feel like improving Ashley goes a long way for this game. And uh, that's kind of how I feel about Ashley in general. And of course, probably one of the most important parts of the gameplay loop is the attach showcase. I did talk about that a little bit in the upgrading system uh, in the, you know, sort of the item management. Uh, which we sort of saw in Resident Evil Village. Again, I'm reiterating, it just wasn't the same tried and true uh, that we got from R RE4. Uh, with how good item management is in RE4, I think it definitely needs to come back, but more refined and not as clunky as it is now. See, we were talking about uh, you know the upgrading of the attache case, but this is more or less discussing you know not it being as clunky. You have to go to an entirely different menu to access it, which isn't really a bad thing, so to speak, because it pauses the game. So if enemies were coming close to you, then it, you have an opportunity to figure out your next move, rearrange items, heal yourself, upgrade. You are Ashley's help. Look at your key items and treasures. So it does serve its purpose very well, but it needs to be easier to access while still offering what it did originally. And of course, allow you allow us to upgrade it like we already can because there's just something so satisfying about upgrading the case and rearranging your items like a degenerate uh, so you can be the envy of all your friends or hated by all of them because you refuse to make your attache case nice and clean. I think item management is one of the most satisfying things about Resident Evil, especially in Resident Evil 4. And would it, be a, it would be a shame if it, if it wasn't brought back up to it updated not like village but easier to access and use because it, as it is now it can really take away from the game experience people are hoping to have if they have to navigate different menus just to access their weapons uh key items and the like thereof you know i think these improvements whether they are whether they are big or small can go a long way in making the game better and capcom knows that but i'd be interested to hear what you guys think do you think these improvements could go a long way into giving new life to the remake or do you feel like the remake doesn't need to do anything and just keep the gameplay as is. Let me know down below. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy.